Okay, right, we have a new build now. What we've got here is a 350 Chevy, small block, going into a 90 Defender. This one we're going to call Emily's build. It was a, uh, a build that was started some years ago. Unfortunately, it didn't get finished. And the young lady has asked me to complete the finish on the engine and complete the rest of the restoration on the 90. Um, it's a 1980s. I will get to some video of that as we're going along. The first thing is, is the engine. I will place some pictures in. I've cleaned this so far. It's about four hours work cleaning what was there. Um, you'll see by the pictures that the, the mess it was in. Uh, one of the heads is cleaned under the bottom just about I've got to clean the other one and we have got an array of bits that I've got to clean and put together and hopefully get this going I didn't know what the other person has done to this engine so I'm starting from scratch uh, I've ended up with all the bits and pieces as you can see We've got the, yes, in some state of array. Some of them are okay. They want a really good clean, really good polishing. Uh, manifold, I'll give that a clean with a pressure washer, but obviously it's a really good clean. And I'll continue with the rest of it. And that's probably about as far as we're going to go for a minute. I'll, uh, I'll do the build as we go along. I won't bore you with all the cleaning. I've got a lot of cleaning to do here on the crank, the cam, uh, and as you can see all the rest of it as well as a really good clean before it all goes put back together. Um, that's how I've received it, all in boxes. And I've got to make the jigsaw into one so that we can get a working engine this Defender 90. We, we did have an original V8 in there. Um, her father took it out some years ago and put a 350 in it, this one, and ripped it all apart and decided to rebuild it with all new bits and pieces. I've got some, or well, most of the bits and pieces. I've I had to order, obviously, all new stuff because it's been so long now. But we will get there. I will, no doubt, give you a heads up on the next time uh, as we're going along okay everything will be a little bit noisy in a minute what I've actually done now is I've put four of these let me see if I can zoom in a little bit better I put oh, it's too much, sorry I put four of these into the ultrasonic bath giving them a very very good clean now all I've got to do is give them a polish up Use the ultrasonic bath and got some of vapor rust in there. Put some of vapor rust and put it on to heat for at least 30 degrees and left it going for 20 minutes so far. Now I'm just about to do another 20 minutes, so that's an hour and a half altogether to clean eight. And then what I'll do is I start clean the rest of the bits and pieces so I'm starting to clean the manifold as you can see that was just going to take some time but we'll get there we've got a bigger bath so what I'm going to do is put that into a bigger bath with some hyper clean and we'll see what we can do with that this is a little bit noisy so I'm not going to keep it on too long I'm just going to show you how it's going 20 minutes on the clock and inside as you can see, there's dirt and muck in there. That's come off of eight so far. Uh, I'll end it at that because it's a bit noisy and we get back to you soon. Okay, so what I've started to do now, that is the sump. It's in the sandblaster at the moment. Uh, obviously it was in some disarray. Still needs a bit more work to that. And then I've got to paint it. Uh, a lot of cleaning yesterday, a lot of cleaning. Uh, the same goes for the timing cover, such 
show you that it's been cleaned degreased and I've got to blast that up. 